All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you all for your patience. Uh, let's get straight into it. Um, there was a time many, many years ago, probably 2013, where I was really scared and nervous about buying a car. I didn't really know much about my credit, and I thought I had horrible, horrible credit. But I received a prophetic word from my pastor at that time where it says, uh, son, the Lord is telling you to go get a car. And I was like, yeah, pastor, you missing it. You missing this. Like, that ain't the Lord because I don't have a car payment. All I'm paying is insurance. I'm good to go. So later on, God provoked me to, you know, really step out on that word. But what really helped me get out of fear and take action was wisdom. It was wisdom. And so for the sake of tonight, when we speak about wisdom, it can be interchanged uh, biblically. But for the sake of conversation, wisdom is the information or the, the knowledge and understanding that expands you so that you can take action. Y'all follow me so far? It's the it's the ability to expand you. Have you ever been around people or maybe you have had the tendency where you felt stuck? And what typically helps a believer get unstuck is wisdom. Because James says, if any man lacks wisdom, he can do what? Ask. And it will be what? Given to him freely. So wisdom, right, is the thing that could really unlock you to really carry out the thing that God has for you. So tonight, if I were to give this thing a title, I would say wisdom equals blank. And by the end of this tonight, we'll fill that statement out. Wisdom is blank or wisdom equals blank. I'm sorry. Wisdom equals blank. What comes after we receive some wisdom? So tonight I want to kind of focus in on Proverbs 2 uh, verse number 6, right? Can y'all hear me clearly? We good? All right, cool. So in this scripture it says, the Lord gives wisdom and out of his mouth comes knowledge and understanding. Proverbs 2. Verse number six, I'm reading the English Standard Version, but it says the Lord gives wisdom and out of his mouth comes knowledge and understanding. So, you know me, I love to study. And I said, OK, God, what does this word wisdom mean here? Because as we know throughout scripture, certain words can mean certain things in different contexts, right? Different uh, meanings in the Greek, different meanings in the Hebrew, but here it's Hebrew and it's, um, it's like, uh, uh, shog, 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 excuse me, not really good on, on my Hebrew, but just, just for the sake of time, I got 10 minutes. I'm not going to really dive deep into it, but it is talking about the spirit of wisdom. So we know in Proverbs is talking about the spirit of wisdom is almost described to as a woman. And this spirit of wisdom was the spirit that was with God in the creation. It's really the imagination of God. Man, that's some good stuff right there. It's the imagination of God. It was the thing that was partnering with God. It's called a counselor to God in the beginning to say, okay, God, you want to create the heavens and the earth? This is how we should go about doing it. That's wisdom. It expands you. It allows you to take action. So it gave God a blueprint. Well, even though God created wisdom, let me just make sure we're clear here. God created this spirit of wisdom. Can y'all say it with me? God created the spirit of wisdom. I want y'all thinking that the spirit of wisdom created God. God created the spirit of wisdom, but it collaborated with him to bring forth the existence that we know as earth, heaven and earth and all of those things. Right. So when we look at wisdom, it says it, it comes. God gives it to us. He gives it. If you really study it out, it says he gives us the availability. That's why James come in. If any man lack wisdom, let him ask. You have to ask God for this type of wisdom. How crazy is it when we feel stuck, when we feel like, man, I can't figure this thing out. We run to encyclopedia. We go to Google. We go to our prayer partner. We go to our BFF, our frenemies. And we're asking them about how to like really figure this thing out that we're maybe stuck in. Or as in James says, when we fall into things that we did not necessarily provoke, we need wisdom to get out of it. So in that time where I needed a car, I needed some wisdom. So here was the, applica the, the application of the wisdom that I received at that moment. He said, son, go to the dealership, go as many as you want, walk around the lot and ask the Lord, what car do you have for me? What car do you have for me? 
He said, the sales person is going to come out there. Say, hey, I'm just looking. So I went to a lot. And as we look at this, it's the spirit of wisdom. So let me look at my notes. I really want to tie in because we got a short period of time. Is this good so far? Okay. Amen. Amen. So this wisdom, it's available to the believer. It's available to the believer. It comes from God's mouth, meaning if God releases wisdom to you, he's going to operate at such a level that in Jeremiah 1 and 12, it says, I watch over my word to perform it. So the word of wisdom will come to you to be performed by God. You just got to seek after it and actually, you know, jump in and I have some fun with it. Right. So go with me to Luke 2 and 52. This is where we're going to surmise everything tonight. Luke 2 and 52 says, Jesus grew with wisdom and stature and had favor with God and with man. I told you how we was going to like really fill in the blank. Wisdom equals favor. Come on, somebody. I needed favor when I needed that car. I didn't know what my credit score was like. So I said, I walked into the dealership and went straight to the owner, literally straight to the owner's room. I said, hey, Matt, I'm coming to buy a car. I'm not taking no for an answer. I'm leaving here today with a car. He's like, oh, yeah, yeah. At that time, I worked in radio. So at that time, I had a relationship with him. Long story short, they ran my credit after being paired with the manager. And I, my credit was better than what I thought it was. So I had uh, more options to get this car, okay, Luke 2 and 52, Jesus grew with wisdom and stature and had favor with God and with men. Let me just pause right here and give you some application to this. If you seek the wisdom of God, he will give you favor, the same level that you have with him, you'll have with man, the same level of favor. So when you don't have the money, ask God for the favor, but first check in with wisdom. <laughs> Y'all got me excited. I was sitting here tired. I just text my wife like, man, I'm, I'm, I'm a little sleepy. But let me help you out real quick because we got a couple more minutes to go. Favor. What is favor? Favor is preferential treatment. Policies and rules change. Battles won in which you do not have to fight. Let me go a little bit deeper on this particular favor that's in Luke 2 and 52. This is... Um, uh, this type of favor will produce for you, because this is what happened with Jesus, it will produce to you the wisdom that will allow you to interpret dreams, have visions, produce, have you to manage affairs. It will give you the wisdom and the favor to have sound advice and to receive sound advice, to have systematic intelligence. Come on, somebody. It will give you all that you need in the moment. That's why Jesus was kind of stoic, right? He was like, I didn't answer a man, not a word. Like Jesus had this wisdom in, in this way about himself. So tonight I want to encourage you. I want to encourage you. Like simply tap into the wisdom that God has from you. Now listen, Jesus had this wisdom that was, yes, in intellect. It was intellect, but it was divine demonstration. Come on, somebody. How do you tell somebody to go uh, go fishing? And then the first fish you pull out, there's going to be some money in it. I don't know who's that for. That's for somebody. That wasn't even in my notes. But I just want to encourage you tonight. Start with wisdom. It will come from God. It is a spear from God. It will fall upon you and it will grow you. It will expand you. When it says Jesus grew with wisdom and stature, that's talking about like from a child to a man. It's talking about growth and development. If you grow and develop in the Lord, come on somebody, favor will fall on you. Favor is reward. Or it is recompense. Come on, somebody. It is grace. It is more than you could ever ask for. When I went in there to that dealership to wrap everything up, I went back out there to that lot, did what the word told me to do, what wisdom told me to do. I walked a lot again, knowing what I could pick because now I know what I'm approved for. I come back in. I really didn't like what I saw. And this is in Michigan. So it was a lot of GM cars, big three. And the owner of the dealership said, Hey, LV, uh, what about this Cadillac? Go, go test drive it. Cadillac CTS, leather seat, sunroof. I was like, okay, praise the Lord. Drove the car for the test drive, came back. He met me at the door. He said, do you like it? I said, Matt, I don't have the money for the down payment. Let me tell you what wisdom, when it equals favor, would do. He said, if I write the check for you today, will you take the car home? Don't tell me what favor can't produce for you, but you got to first seek wisdom. 
Thank you all. God bless.